Hey guys, it's me, my reborns, and I am back with another video. You are and Today is Saturday, June 10th, and it's currently 5.46 p.m. And I have my child size reborn toddler here. This is Mingy by Ping Lao. I'm sorry if you guys hear that. I don't even know what that is. I don't know what that pinging, binging <laughs> noise is. Maybe it's the AirPods on the wireless charger. I just went ahead and took them off, but if it's still pinging and binging, I don't know what it is. So you're probably just have to ignore it. Sorry. <laughs> but uh, she was painted by Anna K. I try not to butcher people's names because I hate when people don't pronounce mine right. But this is my best pronunciation for it. Anna, Cor Anna Corverist. Anna Corverist. Anna Corverist. Anna Corverist. Sorry, I probably 100% said that incorrectly. But if you guys go back to her box opening, towards the end of the video, there's like a card with her name and her information. So you guys can find her that way. Because I got asked who her artist was a few times and it was in the video but i know a lot of people skip the box opening so it's okay anyways i have her she's still in her pjs that she picked out from her night routine video if you guys haven't watched that go ahead and watch it and we're gonna do a day in the life not today obviously but it was a morning routine turned into a day in the life by one of her the alexis suggested a day in the life instead so We'll be doing that. I'll probably do it next week. I'm not going to do it today and I'm busy tomorrow. So we'll just go ahead and do the video next week instead. So look out for that. And basically for today's video, I'm going to be doing her hair because I am tired of looking at it. This is her natural state of hair and her curls. But in her routine video she had what did i do for her hair i think she just had it in a ponytail and then she did like i did like the fake bath and so it was like the fake i washed her hair in the bath and it's been like that ever since and it's bugging me because she looks kind of funny with her hair like this so i decided it would be fun to do her hair and record it because i never record me doing her hair because the videos are already long and then if i decide to do her hair as a perfectionist as I am, the video will be super long. But we're gonna do our hair. I'm gonna show you guys four easy hairstyles that you guys can do on your reborn toddlers. And this is for all hair types and textures and length. As you guys can see, she has curly hair, but her hair isn't super long. So you can do this with straight hair, wavy hair, long hair, short hair. As long as baby got hair, you can do these styles. And they're not gonna be the most fun styles because I am coming up with the styles just basically off the top of my head. And they're going to be really simple, easy styles. I just thought it would be fun to do this video and record it. So let me show you guys what I'll be using and what you guys will be needing. It's not a lot of stuff. So I have a brush. I have my little, it's like a comb on this side, brush on this side, toothbrush for the edges water bottle or spray bottle this is just a spray bottle with water in it and i do use this sometimes it is just a water based mousse there's no sulfates no mineral oil no parabens and no glutens i'm going to be using this it says it's perfect for natural hair short styles and molded styles great flyaway control for protective styles i use this on her other styles before and it's really good on her hair it smells really good and last thing you need are two rubber bands i know you guys hate using rubber bands or get scared with rubber bands because they can pull out your baby's hair if you're not careful i won't deny that they can pull out your baby's hair because they pull out real hair on humans so you have to be really careful if you don't want to use your bands you can just use a regular hair tie or you can use the little ouchless little hair ties which i have to get some because they have like different colors and all types of stuff so i have to get some of those so i can do more fun styles anyways i am talking way too much so for this first style we are just going to be giving her two ponytails 
So what you need is your comb and I'm just gonna be using this as my comb because I lost my skinny comb. So all I have left is a wide tooth comb. So what you want to do is part the baby's hair from top to bottom. It doesn't necessarily have to be even and a straight part. And I'm here to tell you guys right now, mine's not going to be even or straight because I'll be here forever if, if I was trying to make it really, really straight. Uh, but for the sake of this video, it's not going to be even or even and really straight. As well as this is the first style and I have three more styles to go. So we're just going to go ahead and part her hair straight down the middle. Okay, so that is the straightest I am going to get it or I will literally be here for hours, seriously. So the next step is to take one of your rubber bands or hair ties and to just throw it up in a quick ponytail bun, something, just one side so it can get out of your way while you work on the other side. Let's move her up a little bit. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to bring you guys up. Just a little bit more so you guys can hover over her while she gets her hair did. So the next thing I'm going to do is just wet her hair up. And if your baby's hair is super curly, then I suggest you wetting the hair before you part it as it can get tangled up. And it is best to work on wet hair when you have curly hair, hover her hair. The way she's rooted and the texture of her hair, it was fine that I went ahead and parted it while it was dry. So I'm just going to use my brush to kind of, I'm going to use my brush as my comb. Because <laughs> this comb, this is where I would have used my white tooth comb at. But this one is too small and tiny and I don't want that to pull her hair. And I don't feel like getting up to get the white tooth comb. So since her hair is wet, we're just going to brush it and act like this is the comb. Okay, so this is her hair. And the next thing we're gonna do is take our edge toothbrush and we're going to just pull out her edges or her baby hair. And this is a 100% um, optional. I like edges on my babies because I like doing them on my hair in real life. I don't want to pull out the super long pieces because then those will be adult hairs instead of baby hairs. <laughs> okay, so I have to get like a seat or something for her to sit on. But I think the Bobby's doing pretty good for her. All right. So this part is very, very simple. What you want to do next is start, is take your brush and start creating your ponytail. And you can turn this into a bun or just a regular ponytail, whichever one you decide you want to do. And make sure you go ahead and get the back of the hair as well, especially if your baby's hair is kind of short, because if you don't get the back, it'll stick up and it won't fit in the ponytail. So. You want to make sure you get the back and you can leave out little sideburns or curly pieces. Uh, sometimes I leave out her sideburns and sometimes I leave out a few hair in the back of her hair. But for this style, I'm not going to, but you definitely could if you wanted to. Okay, so this is where the mousse come into play to make sure her hair lays down a little bit. This brush looks horrible. I'm just going to put little bit of mousse on the brush to go ahead and start kind of using it to start slicking her hair down and fitting into this ponytail and of course you don't have to use mousse um if you don't want to you can just use water water will do the same thing as the mousse since that mousse is water-based anyways next we're going to take this or you can use your toothbrush 
we're gonna slick it all in here because this is where as you guys can see i'm pushing all the hair right here because this is where i want the ponytail to stop at and as you guys can tell this is kind of a in-depth hair video usually for my other ones i just add like background music or a voiceover but for this one i decided to talk through it instead so you guys will have to let me know if you guys like these videos and if so what style do you like for them for these hair videos all right so now that we have the base and form of the ponytail we are now just going to grab all of her hair and i'm gonna put it in the ponytail and i don't do the ponytails loose i mean i don't do the ponytails tight i do them fairly loose because again these are rubber bands and you know you don't want them to pull your baby's hair out so i don't do it loose I mean tight, I keep saying loose, <laughs> but when I'm done, since I don't do them tight, I just go like this, but be very, very careful. Okay, so here's her hair, and let me show you guys how to make it not look like that. So take the end of this, and since it's already wet still, it's fine that you come through, so you come through. And you twirl it like that or you can take your finger and twirl it and then boom you have your ponytail and let me show you guys the back of her hair so cute this is the back of her hair i kind of want to leave it like this but i already told you guys four styles <laughs> so now i'm just going to do the other side like that Okay, this side of her hair is now done. And one thing that I did not say is uh, when you're doing parts and ponytails, you want to make sure they're even. And as you guys can see, this one is like more high up than that one. But again, I'm trying to do this in a timely manner. And so I would have been here all day if they were straight. And if the part was straight, as you guys can see, it's very crooked. So I would just been here all day and i don't want to be here all day so that's why they're going to look like that but uh as you guys can see her edges are not done so toothbrush a little bit of mousse because it is going to be i'm going to try to not get it on her forehead let me just put it on her hair first and then you just go ahead and you slip them down to your liking if you want to if not you can just add them into the ponytails and this is just me trying to do them quickly i promise i won't have her out here looking crazy like that in real life just me trying to hurry up and do her hair for the sake of the video yeah so anyways this is how her hair looks i do not like i don't like that okay that looks a little bit better all right so this is her hair and as you guys can see, I'm trying not to touch her limbs with with my fingertips because they do have that mousse on there. And I don't want anything interfering. I don't want anything interfering with her paint or anything like that. Even though it is just mousse and water-based. Okay. You can just never be too sure. Let me take you guys off of the tripod really quick. Okay, so this is her hair. And let me show you guys the back. Sorry for the tripod. This is the back of her hair. It's so crooked. But yeah. <laughs> so this is her hair. This is how the two ponytails came out. Okay, so this hairstyle was really like a two-in-one, so technically this counts as a second hairstyle. 
I know you guys are like, what? But you can just go ahead and take the ponytail and wrap it around the rubber band. And you don't even need another rubber band or anything to secure it. Usually you don't. Her hair is still wet, so it's not going to stay really good. But just, yeah, that was kind of a bad example. You guys can see that I'm rambling. So for her right now, she would need a ponytail to secure it and make sure it doesn't go anywhere. But usually if you wrap it around just right and make sure it gets around the rubber band, it usually stays. But now she has two cute little space buns. So yeah, this is gonna be my this is gonna be our second hairstyle, these space buns. Super simple, easy, and when you're tired of the space buns, you can go ahead and take them down and they can be pigtails again or pigtails in general. So yeah. Now we're gonna move on to the third hairstyle. Okay, I hope this is a good angle for you all. I know you guys are just looking at her hair instead of her face, but this video is just about her hair. She poses really good. I never noticed that before. When she has like support, she can sit up really nice by herself. And you can, you can kind of position her arms in any way and her legs as well. But anyways, so we'll go ahead and take out these rubber bands. Let's make sure we're extremely careful. And for the remainder of the styles, I won't need any mousse and I won't need any more water since her hair already has water and mousse. So I won't be using them for the remainder of the styles. However, if her hair was fresh or I just getting ready to do it, I would use it. But since I'm doing all these styles back to back, I don't need it. So for the third style, we're going to switch it up a little bit. Not too much. Remember, these are just simple easy basic styles that anyone can do this rubber band is bigger than the last one so i did have to wrap it around more times all right so this is how our hair looks super pretty so next we're gonna take our brush and we're just gonna brush her hair out since it was in the ponytails it wasn't in the ponytails for long though and we're gonna brush it out and make sure the back is all brushed out. No more parts. We don't need a part right now. So we're gonna just brush her hair out. So for the next style, we are going to be doing a half up, half down. Super simple, very easy, and super cute. So there's different ways you can actually do a half up, half down. You can do it from ear to ear. You can do it from like just in the middle of their hair, or you can just do it from like right here. So there's different ones. I'm not going to be doing it ear to ear. Um, and I'm not going to do it in like just the middle right here. I'm going to be doing it just right here. Kind of like eyebrows. And right there. So the first things first is we're just going to need to start directioning her hair upwards. And getting it ready to go in a ponytail. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Just making sure her hair knows that it's supposed to go upwards and then it will start to just kind of form on its own almost so that is what i'm doing now you don't even really need to part it you just honestly just need to start pushing the hair that you want to use for the ponytail upwards so that's what i'm going to be doing this is kind of simple and self-explanatory so i'm going to just speed this part up Come check your knees out. Look how cute she looks. I really want to cut off the video and leave it here so I can leave her hair like this. So her hair looks how she looks from the side, other side. Oh yeah, you guys' knees could be a model because look how pretty she is. And. The ponytail, it could have been in the center, 
or the middle a little bit more because now that I look at it, it's kind of like lopsided and to the side a little bit. But that's just me picking and trying to have everything perfect, which I know that is impossible, but yeah. So this is her hair, half up, half down ponytail. Okay, you wanna look at your aunties and uncles and cousins and friends? As always, you can pretty much make anything that is a ponytail into a bun. So that's what we're gonna do, but this is not the fourth style. I'm gonna do another style for the fourth one. We're gonna have it sticking up like alfalfa. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna take my finger and wrap it around the rubber band. Okay, so since we do have an extra ponytail, our rubber band right here, hold on, let me, and we're going to take our other ponytail, our rubber band, and we're going to just wrap it around twice, and now she has a cute little baby bun. <laughs> it would look a lot better if it was in the middle of her hair, or her head, I should say. So now we're going to do the fourth style, and the fourth style, can you guys guess what it is? It's a ponytail. <laughs> We're going to do a ponytail for the first, the fourth style. Again, these are simple, easy hairstyles. Some may not think they're the cutest. I think she looks cute no matter what hairstyle she has. But some may not think they're the cutest. But again, these are just simple, easy hairstyles that you guys can do on your reborns. Or that you guys can even do on your real kids. So, they're super easy. And they don't take long they're fast but when I get some more rubber bands and things like that we'll do some more styles with her as well as if I get another baby I don't have any babies planned but if I get another baby that has more hair we're able to do a lot more different styles and fun styles so what you want to do next is push your baby's hair basically up into the format of a ponytail wherever you want to have that ponytail sitting at if you want to have that ponytail sitting at the front base of the head, then you need to push the hair all the way up there. If you want it in the middle, you need to push the hair in the middle. So wherever you want the ponytail to be at is where you need to push the hair at. That way it's all sitting there and you're able to grip it better and put it in the ponytail better. Her hair in the back is either I didn't wet it enough or what, but it's like already drying. So I'm trying to be super careful with this itty bitty comb i don't want to take out any of her hair while trying to comb it to the front so i'm going to just put for this style i'm just going to do the middle and the reason why i'm doing the middle is because it's easier for the front of the hair to go to the middle and it's easier for the back of the hair to go to the middle it's like they're meeting in the middle that way the front's able to fit since her hair is short the front's able to fit and then the back's able to fit so as you guys can see it's basically already a ponytail. All I have to do is brush the rest of this up and put it in the ponytail. We'll do no edges for this style. For baby hairs, they would make the styles, the simple, easy, basic styles pop more, which is why I like doing them. But we'll just go ahead and not do them. <laughs> Since it's not sleek, I'm just going to take the brush and go ahead and brush the flyaways or the hairs that I didn't get in the ponytail. Just brush that up. And again, edges would have made the style pop more, as well as taking out some hair on the, each side of her head. That would have made it really, really cute and stick out more, which I am going to do after, just to show you guys how it'll look. I'm just going to take some water, because her hair is starting to dry. Finger comb it. I use my fingers, and it kind of just goes in whatever direction it wants to, and it just ends up looking super cute either way.
All right, so that is her ponytail. And again, you can make it into a bun. We already know how it looks like as a bun, so I'm not gonna do it for you guys. This is how she looks. I think this one is a little more centered. We are now going to just take our brush, do her baby hairs. And even if you already have your baby hair in a ponytail or a style, if you just brush at the front, of their hair it'll just come out naturally and automatically you don't have to pull or anything it'll just come out by itself as long as you're brushing it at the front <laughs> So she does have hair out, but it's like really light blonde. So I am going to take some water. There we go. I would stick her baby hairs down, but the way they're laying naturally. It's kind of cute to me. Usually I would slick them down, but the way they're just laying is kind of kind of cute. So I won't do too much. There we go. All right, so that's her last hairstyle. Let me show you guys the back of her hair. All right, so this is the back of her hair. Her hair is so soft too. Very, very soft. And look at her little ponytail. It's little, but it's cute. So I'm going to take you guys off the tripod so you guys can get a better look of her hair. And then that's going to be it for this video. And we're going to go ahead and close it out because I bet it's super long. Okay, so there's her hair. This is how it looks. And I hope you guys enjoyed this fun video. I've only done a couple of these videos because I've only ever had one other baby who had a lot of hair where i can do styles and make the videos for it i hope to get some more babies in my collection that have a lot of hair so i can do more of these videos but if you guys like this video and this type of content and you want to see more just let me know by dropping a like and letting me know in the comments her baby hairs could be a lot better throughout this whole entire video but like i said that would have taken me quite a while to get them how i want so for the sake of the video I just left them like this. Looks so cute sitting here. So here's the side of her hair. There's the other side of her hair. And then there's the back of her hair. So that's how her hair turned out. And let me know if you guys will be trying any of these styles on your reborn babies. They're quick, easy, simple hairstyles. If you're rushing or you're not really good at doing hair i feel like these styles are really easy to do and they don't take a lot of time and your baby just turns out looking so cute if you guys do like this type of content i know i said it already but definitely let me know because i have some other fun ideas that i can do for the hairstyles on her anyways this video is probably already long and i don't want to take any more of you guys' time so if you guys want to go ahead and give me a follow on Instagram, you guys can do so. My Instagram is Maya underscore Reborns. And I do have plenty of babies for sale. I have them listed on my Instagram. I have them listed on Reborns.com. My Reborns.com is in the description below. But my name is Melanated Bebes. And I do have the Reborns on Mercari as well. So if you guys are interested in purchasing your own Reborn baby, Go ahead and check out the babies I have for sale. And my email is down below too. If you guys want to join my email subscription, you guys can go ahead and do so. It is 100% free. It's just me rambling. So if you guys don't like to read, then I wouldn't suggest signing up. But I do share exclusive things and videos with you all over there from time to time. So if you guys want to go ahead and sign up, you can. Again, Everything that I stated is linked below in the description. All you have to do is check it out, click on it, and it'll bring you directly there. That is pretty much it for today's video. If you guys liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Comment below anything you guys want in the comments, including video If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, ring that bell so you guys can always be notified when I post another video. Again, guys, it is super, super...
super, super nice for you guys to subscribe when you see someone's channel that you really, really like. So make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button. Make sure you guys are thumbsing up the video. I know sometimes I forget the thumbs of the video and then they say it in the video. And I'm like, oh, oh my gosh, I didn't thumbs it up. Let me thumbs it up. So that's why I always repeat it at the end of the video so that you guys can make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And thank you guys so much again for watching. We hope you guys have a great rest of your day and stay safe. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.